Well, building native applications with the new uh, iOS SDK isn't too tough. You certainly don't want to have to do it every time you make changes to your application. Luckily, with Gozync, you don't have to do that. We can send out updates without going through the App Store or without using any other tools that, um, that may take longer. Um, we can use our normal built-in Gozync uh, application update that we've had built into Gozync since day one. So let's take a look at how that works. So here is um, our application running in the iPad simulator. And uh, you can see that um, that's what this is. Um, so uh, let's launch that. And so there's our app, and here is the same layout running in FileMaker Pro Advanced. And I'm just going to make a simple change to the layout here and then deploy it out using, using Gozing's method um, to show you how easy it is. So we'll just add another tab here. And uh, you can see, so there's our new tab. Um, that tab does not exist over here in our native app, but um, we can use, our, as I said, our normal built-in Gozing procedures to upload new versions of our application to the GoZinc server. And once that's done, we can go back to our native app. We can check for updates and it tells us that our application is ready to update. We click install and here come our new application files are being downloaded to the device automatically. And here they are. And you can see if we go here, we now have our empty another tab um, in the device. So. GoSync works great with native apps, just like it does with FileMaker Go, and it can deploy all of your new changes out to your files without going through the App Store or using any other uh, outside tools. That's it. Thanks.